welcome to Break Mitsubishi. My name is Mason, and today we're doing a walk around video on this unique 2019 MY19 Triton GLX ADAS. Now, being the ADAS model, this comes with a lot of extra safety features that the normal GLX model does not get. So, we'll, we will run through exactly what that includes, but also just have a look at the car. You've got a very nicely set up, very aggressive Triton. So, we'll try to run through the vehicle as well as some of the features that have been fitted onto the car. So, have a look at the front end there. You do notice that Iron Man 4x4 bull bar. Now, this is a um, bull bar that is compatible for a winch kit if you wanted to fit that out on the top here obviously you can probably fit driving lights and everything as well and I mean it is a very well kitted out vehicle it is a brand new car so there's no real damage so I'm not really going to touch on too much of the condition however what it actually comes with so great bull bar you can see there are little mounts in here if you wanted to add parking sensors along the front of the car which is going to obviously help park a vehicle like this but considering how the car is designed you actually got pretty good visibility at the front of the vehicle all your fog lamps and daytime running lamps are fitted onto the car as well on the headlights, if you will notice, there are some headlight surrounds. Gives it a nice little black accent, makes it look quite nice and aggressive. Suits the um, whole theme of the vehicle as well, uh, but it is going to protect just the edging of the headlights there. And you've got the projector globes in there with your indicator lamps. On the actual hood, there is this hood vent system. Now, it's not actually functional or practical. It's just there, again, to add a bit of character, add a bit of detail to the car and just make it look that little bit more aggressive and sporty. Although the Triton, the MR Tritons do look pretty good as it is. Now, this is a 4x4 manual, so it is, again, great for a four-wheel drive setup. Now, to have a look on the side here, you will notice the car does come fitted with these arches. Gives it a slightly wider offset. Would be great if you wanted to fit some chunky mud terrains on there. Um, it does come with the steel rims. The GLX model does generally come with the steel rims or, uh, and the ADAS. We have painted it black just to, again, stay consistent with the theme of the vehicle and all-terrain tires fitted on there and they are brand new tires. So you wouldn't need to change them anytime soon. Now, this model does come fitted with the side steps. Again, they are finishing that beautiful black finish just to stay consistent with the vehicle. Cool. There are um, handle surrounds as well, so just on the inside you will notice in a lot of used cars there are a lot of scratch scratches and marks. These are going to protect the paintwork underneath there and just keep it looking nice and clean as well. Now the car does come fitted with weather shields, so we have fitted these for you as well. They are a great little accessory to fit onto your vehicle. Um, great for just general uh, circulating of air and just keeping the temperature nice in the vehicle and having the windows down. Now you will notice that it doesn't actually have any tint on it at the moment. However, we will be tinting these windows. Always encourage people to tint that windows. There's a lot of benefit to it and also all the safety um, that it will add to the vehicle. But the door handles and side mirrors are color matched in that nice black plastic finish. Um, just so you don't get anything too expensive damage. Now having a look inside the car as well, it does come with the cloth interior and the rubber floors or vinyl floors. Makes it very easy to clean and maintain the car. It does also come fitted with the rubber floor mats. They are genuine Triton rubber floor mats, so they fit into the um, wells quite neatly. Um, again, like I said, not going to touch too much on the condition because it is a brand new car. Got your manual seat controllers, manual um, gear shifter as it is a manual vehicle. Um, interior still presents like new as it is a new car. But closing this up, have a look in the back seats as well, just so you can take a look at the space. Now you probably think you, Triton is quite a small car. Um, it is quite small compared to the other utes on the market. However, it is all about the design of the vehicle. Now in the back of the car, just about here, you will notice there will be about a 25 degree hip flex angle for the passengers in the back seat. That is gonna allow for a fully grown adult to sit in the back of this car quite comfortably with enough legroom and headroom, and it's gonna be quite a comfortable ride as well. Now closing this up, as you can see, got the wheel arches on the back as well. And just on the top of the tray, you will notice it does come with these bars. It is there to protect the actual window. Being the ADAS model, it does come with the added benefit of um, those rear support bars and the rear headlights, uh, taillight surrounds. Again, just gives it a quite a sporty look, breaks it up a little bit. And at the bottom, being the ADAS model, it does come with the reverse parking sensors along the bottom and also the reverse camera mounted just on the side of that handle. If I open it up and have a look inside, the car does come fitted with a genuine Mitsubishi tub liner. It is going to keep the paintwork, um, it's going to protect the paintwork, stop it from getting damaged. And again, it's just an accessory you're going to want to get on your ute. And we've already fitted that for you. Coming around to the passenger side of the vehicle, like I said, paint condition is going to be pretty much A1. Does come with the fuel filler cap surround as well, just adds a bit of detail and character. Still got the wide flares on the back end of the car. Condition's pretty good if you just keep moving forward. Um, paintwork is very clean. Still got the surrounds for both front and rear um, door handles and again just all kitted out quite nicely. I just think it looks really good with some chunky chunky mud terrain, some Baja Mickey Thompsons or something like that depending on what kind of four-wheel driving you're doing but you've got a very nicely kitted out uh, GLX ADAS model. So now what we're going to do is pop the hood and have a look inside.
All right, having a look inside the engine bay of the Triton. Now, what we have here is Mitsubishi's four-cylinder, 2.4-liter turbo diesel motor. Now, this car does come fitted with the six-speed manual gearbox, as you saw in the interior. Um, this particular car has a five-star ANCAP rating, so plenty of safety for all the passengers in the vehicle, being that ADAS model as well, with seven airbags, which is plenty for the five passengers in the car. Now, this motor itself produces 133 kilowatts with 430 newton meters of torque, so plenty of torque and power for any kind of payload needs and towing needs. It does have that 3.1 ton towing with the 450 payload. Now, this car is a diesel car with a 75 liter capacity fuel tank. It does have a combined fuel consumption of 7.9 liters per 100, or an average fuel distance of 949 kilometers off a full tank, but that is all dependent on the kind of driving you're doing and how much weight you're carrying around. Taking a look inside the Triton GLX ADAS now, these interiors are quite nice, uh, pretty simple. Um, you don't expect anything too complicated inside your utes, but you do have all the necessary um, accessories or features that you would need in a car. So starting off on the driver's side door, your driver's side window is fully automatic up and down. The rest are just your standard power windows. Now, on the right-hand side of the dash, being the ADAS model, it does come with a lot of extra safety features that you, would, that you wouldn't normally get in your GLX models. So first one being your stability control, Next that is your lane departure warning and then the third button is going to be your forward collision mitigation. Now these two are some of the safety features in the car. If you need a bit more information as to what these are, make sure you ask us when you actually inquire in the car. There is a blank spot there, maybe if you wanted to add a tow pack or driving lights or something like that to the vehicle. Above that is your side mirror controls. Now on the steering column itself, on the right hand stock you've got your left and right indicators, fog lamp controls and headlight controls. Now being the ADAS again, it does come with the automatic headlight system. Just put it into auto, car is going to do all the work for you. And on the left hand stock is your wipers and washers and again these do have an automatic rain sensing system so just leave it in auto, car's going to turn them on when they need to. Now on the steering wheel you've got a pretty nice vinyl steering wheel, um, it looks quite similar whether you go for this model or up to the premium model, just maybe slight textural differences but it is the same steering wheel, looks quite presentable. Right hand side has all your cruise control options, down the bottom is a little button to flick through your display on your dash such as your trip A, trip B, fuel consumption and on your left hand side is your media controls for your head unit, so volume, source um, and your seek buttons and then below that is call, reject and voice control for your Bluetooth connection. So coming over to the entertainment system, System now pretty simple system does have your CD input at the top there as you can see if I go back to media you've got auxiliary um, radio AM FM radio Bluetooth connectivity and USB input as well so pretty easy system to use um, just gonna go there you go station list and it'll just obviously search all the stations you can search through whichever stations you prefer um, or you can just go back to your standard radio and you've got all your hard buttons selected below that Going back to the home, you can see AM, FM radio, CD, USB, auxiliary, Bluetooth audio as well, and your standard Bluetooth connections for your mobile. Now below that, you've got your standard um, AC controls, so vents, fan speed, and also temperature with your circulation. Hazards right in the middle there. Now there is a little indicator for your seatbelts if one of the passengers are not wearing it. You've got two blank spots, your parking sensor button and also your USB input for charging and also for your connect. A 12 volt socket, not a cigarette lighter as we don't encourage people to smoke in their cars. A little bit of storage underneath that. Now you can actually remove this little platform there if you wanted a deeper storage compartment. And you've got that nice manual gear shifter with that leather boot. Now these have great throws in them, very comfortable to drive great six speed shifting. Now if you do want to put it into reverse you simply push it down and move it all the way to the left and that'll put it into reverse. Now you will notice the reverse camera in the car quite easy to see if you can hear the beeping that is because of the sensors it was just noticing the pole behind us um, but you've got those guiding lines there for you as well. Now behind that is your four-wheel drive uh, selector so you've got two high, four high and four low. Um, those are your four-wheel drive settings. Now you can flick into any one of these going, uh, your, two, your high setting, sorry, going up to 100 kilometers per hour. Your low setting, you either want to be in neutral or pulled over. Now you've got two cup holders, a manual handbrake, a nice um, armrest here. If I lift that up, you can see just underneath the kind of storage that you get. So there is an upper shelfing compartment and then below that a deeper storage compartment with a 12 volt socket for any extra charging that you might need to be doing in the, in the vehicle. But pretty nice car on the inside. I'll get the camera person just pan around the interior, show you the rubber floor mats that does come in the vehicle. Also the vinyl floors which are consistent all the way through the car. Back seats are the same brown, uh, sorry, a grey black finish and the car seat mounting points are actually located behind those back row seats. So you simply pull that latch there which is in the middle 
and that'll drop the back seats and your car seat mounting points are there. So what we'll do now is jump outside and wrap up the video. Thank you so much for watching the walk around video on this 2019 MY19 Mitsubishi Triton GLX 8S in the 4x4 manual. Now, I hope the video gave you a good representation as to the condition of the car, as well as some of the features and accessories that have already been fitted to this vehicle. And you can see it is a very presentable vehicle, looks very aggressive and tough, and it's got all the right things on there as well. Now, if you have any additional questions, the number to dial is 9907055. But just before I go, this car actually qualifies for our Platinum One program. Now what that will offer you is five years additional protection, like for like new car warranty, and that coverage is gonna last you up to 200,000 kilometers. So there is great value in this. It'll also come with the added benefit of 10 years Platinum roadside assistance nationwide. So if you plan on doing a bit of four wheel driving, a bit of touring or camping, there, make sure you ask us about this because you're gonna to wanna to take advantage of this. In addition to that, I would highly recommend you talk to us about a hydro pack. Now what that means is you are gonna get a lifetime warranty on this beautiful white paintwork as well as your interior protection and that's going to give you it's going to make it a lot easier for you to clean and maintain it's also going to protect your investment as well now these two things are at an additional cost however if you're using our in-house finance would love to introduce you to our business managers julie and mario who show just some minimal diesel affect your repayments now lastly but most importantly make sure you jump on a google search up Eric mitsubishi and see what people have to say about us with over 1100 reviews and sitting at 4.8 stars gives you the assurance as a buyer that you're dealing with the right people and the right kind of business for a good quality vehicle. Now, as I mentioned before, if you did have any additional questions, the number to dial is 9907055. My name is Nathan. Thank you so much for watching.